It's uh, 4 2 2012 Detroit Free Press. And um, what's your name, please? My name's Bradley Goheen. And Brad, why are you in my truck? Oh, I just met you and seen your shirt, so I thought I'd uh, talk to you about some of the things I've seen personally out on the river. Well, why are you saying that? Give me details. Because that I felt like my job was oil recovery, and once I started at work this year, it uh, was oil cover-up. Well, what Pretty do you mean? Much. Uh, you go out there to find the oil, and whether you find the oil or not isn't the isn't their prerogative. It's to make things look new and move on, pretty much. Do you feel guilty about that? Yeah. Yep, and and why do you do it? Like, uh, why do you still do it? For money, for my paycheck every week. All right, and you've actually complained many a times about this. Oh yeah, I, well I complained the one time and I got laid off for a week, so. Right, you told me that inside. I've haven't complained again. I'm just there to work from the shoulders down. And didn't a foreman tell you something? I think that's exactly what you told that. me. Exactly that. I'm not there to find oil or to tell any EPA about anything. I'm there to keep my mouth shut and do what I'm told. Not, not even use the word oil or product or sheen or any of that. Do you realize how bad this tar sand oil is? I only know what they've told me in classes. Have you ever heard about me before? You personally? Yeah, like videos or uh, have you ever no. seen any? No, I've seen your sweater. You've seen my sweater around town and stuff? Yeah, a couple of people in the mall and things like that. And when you see that, what do you think? I think that you're on to something, pretty much. The set sweater says it. All right, so who is uh, your foreman in charge of you for SET? Uh, Steve. I don't know what his last name is. Okay, and what has Steve told you in the past about anything to do with cleaning up oil? He's pretty much told me that it's not oil, it's dirt, and I'm not to mention use them words when I am working. Use what words? Oil or sheen or product or anything of that nature. We are digging dirt, not oil. But what is it that you see? Oh, it's oil. Lots of it. I see more this year than I did the whole last year. The whole entire year I didn't see as much combined as what I seen in days this year. Did you ever do any um, submerged oil? Yeah. And did they ever clear areas areas that you knew were still full of oil? Most certainly. Like, do you remember where, locations? Uh, I can tell you almost 90% of the areas that I worked in definitely were not clear. Wow, this is huge. Um, the Iron Bridge Park is where I worked recently on the ground excavation, ground re oil recovery. So you're talking about the park where kids are going to be playing at? Yeah. find right now baseball-sized globs of oil that covered up two weeks ago. And it is April 7th, 2012. Who are you? Bradley Goheen. And how far did we uh, walk to get out here? Uh, about a half a mile. And who uh, who do you work for? SCT Environmental. And why are we in this area? I'm here to show you where I, some oil is that I was told to cover up. Um, you know, they say it's an accident, but they knew the pipe was bad three years before uh, the spill happened. Um, we believe double the amount of oil spilled of what they're saying. And they're negligent, and they didn't evacuate anybody. So please uh, um, pass these around. Full hand reaches in here, everybody. Okay, that's how deep it is. Okay, my fingers are down there, so I reached all the way in. And what what about this site, Bradley? Well, I would like to say that I worked on this site up until about this point here, from there to here. All right. And once I mentioned something about the oil, that was my last day, and the crew continued on without me and finished this site out. So, because you said there was oil, you complained about it, went up to EPA guy and your supervisor pulled you off to the side. Um, I just want to, I've already talked to you, so I want to make sure that what I just said is correct. That's correct. Um, and why wouldn't they, why wouldn't they want to clean this oil up? 
Do you have a, a reason why? What do you think? I think they wanted to get done with the site and get out of here. They didn't want to... It was a lot of physical labor. There's no way to get machinery in here and they didn't want to do the muscle work. So you think that's why they didn't dig it all out, huh? And yes. put dirt over it. How did they get the dirt in here? Five gallon buckets. Five gallon buckets. Yep. Wow. So it was a lot of work. In all reality, they probably should still be working at this specific site. Oh, trust me, we'll get them back here. Where did we get this out of? Well, about a one foot by one foot hole that's about two foot deep. And that is one full of sheen, full of oil down there. And that is one big piece there. One second, let me, let me get some video so people can see this. Do you see all this oil? I mean, it's everywhere. They buried it. That's all oil up in them crevices. You guys can't, you can't deny that's oil. I mean, we, we know what oil is. We know how to clean it up. Look, Look at, at that. They buried this, people. I mean, we got animals right here. Look at that nice turkey. Well, he's living in contaminated areas. Possibly close to 200 yards away from where we just found the oil. Yeah, we're right next to where we just found all this oil that's buried, right next to where these kids are going to play. That is how evil these cleanup companies and oil companies are. They don't care about these kids that'll be playing here. They bury oil right next to them. Showing you all the oil that's still left here. And right where the kids are going to play at Bridge Park. So it was about a foot and a half, two foot deep. So we dug a hole. We left the hole here so water would collect. And when we came back, we could just uh, easily show some oil. They just filled it in, this little piece right here. So we're just going to. Um, they probably soaked up a lot of the oil in this one small spot, so I'll dig next to it a little bit and just see what we find. It's going to take a while. Can you tell us where we are? Uh, mile marker nine. About. Nine miles from the oil spill uh, from Marshall, Michigan. Uh, we're in Battle Creek right now. And this is just where a worker said the oil was buried and came out here and dug a hole and what do you know, it's here. Um, it's sad what they're doing. I can't believe they get away with it. So do you happen to know the, the life cycle of how long it would take to evaporate? Um, tar sand oil is not biodegradable it'll last for 50, 100, 200 years. It's just gonna sit there, it's not going away. It's not gonna, um, if it's on top of grass, then a lot of times the grass will grow and it'll stick to the top of the grass. And then when the grass falls down in the fall, then in the winter comes, it kinda just blends back into everything. And then whatever's left of that thick oil, grass keeps every year pushing it up. And um, it's gonna be in the DNA of the grass. It's gonna, the chemicals is gonna be everywhere. Um, and you'll always have droplets that are under the ground. Um, but that mother nature is actually um, hiding the oil for them. Hmm. It's, not, it's not getting rid of it, it's hiding it. Clean glove, nothing on it. I'm just gonna stick it in and try to grab some of this oil. And that's what's underneath all this dirt that they buried. with uh, gamus and grass and I just I can't believe that they get away with this I mean it's all on the edges it's the holes full of oil and it just keeps soaking back in and this is just one hole now I'm gonna prove to everybody follow me please I'm gonna prove to everybody that this is oil okay I'm gonna come to the water and I'm gonna stick my hand in here 
Do you see the chemicals coming off? And the oil sticks. Now, I'm just going to grab some mud. Okay. Now I'm going to put my hand in the water again. Only the oil sticks. 100% proof. It smells like like tar. It does like, smell like tar, like asphalt. Yeah, like asphalt. Um, and it's really strong. And it's really hard to take a deep breath of it. Um, and it's, uh, it gives you headaches, migraines. Um, your lungs start to hurt. And it's, uh, you can still see the residue of all the sheen that's just where I put my hand in there. April 15, 2012, and uh, we're at mile marker 9. I'm with reporters, and we just had this turkey walk up on us. And the reason why um, this is really important to us is because I got a clean glove here, and I'm just going to fill it up with oil. All this oil that's in here. Just to show you all the oil that's right next to these wild animals. Let me say also, I hope to see you out on the river paddling very soon. And Thank you for coming. And I hope you don't go on the river. It's still full of oil. <laughs>